How to record importation of goods from foreign supplier in Skull Part 1. Hi everyone. In today's sessions, I will be talking about what do we need to do if we have importations of goods from foreign supplier, for example, from Taobao. So my name is Jason. Today I will be giving you a full walkthrough on how to record these importations of goods transactions into our SQL software. The first would be this particular imported goods you want to act as a trading items where you would resell it back to your customer. In this case, you want to record this transaction into our purchase invoice to do self view invoice. First, we need to create our supplier profile. To do so, we can go towards supplier and then maintain supplier would be the place where we can create our supplier profile. In this case, we will create a new supplier profile and then underneath the company name, we can input as Taobao. And then, Underneath the country, we can specify it is from China. Then, we can go towards the currency code type. Then, we can select CNY, which indicates as Chinese Yuan for this particular transactions. Okay, moving towards on the middle side, for e-invoice submission, we need to specify to the government it is for self built e-invoice. And then lastly, we can go to classification code type. Then we, need, we can select it as 034 self built importations of goods. Then moving towards will be the text tab. Underneath the TIN number text box, we need to specify the TIN number for this particular foreign supplier. So in this case, foreign supplier did not have the same TIN number as Malaysians do. That's why underneath this arrow, we can select the TIN number for our su foreign supplier as E19030 which is foreign supplier. So that is how we create our supplier profile. After we successfully create our supplier information, so we can directly move towards how to record these transactions and do self-build invoice to LHDN portal. So let us close this maintain supplier. Moving towards will be purchase and then purchase invoice. So in this case, we will be creating a brand new transaction for our foreign supplier, which is Taobao. So underneath the invoice details, first we need to call out a couple of columns. So first of all would be our permit number, and then the second one will be our classification code. So if this particular imported goods, you have received a K1 form, which is custom clearance form from the custom, then you need to key in the custom clearance number underneath the permit number. So if you have no K1 form, then this permit number column, you can leave it blank. Now we need to select the particular item code that we bought from our supplier. Let's say it's grey chair. And then we need to specify the quantity and also the product unit price. After that, we can press save. And as you can see here, this classification code will be automatically changed into 034, which is self-built importations of goods. After every single details is being double-checked, then we can submit as validated invoice. First, we press this My Invoice button. Then, we can submit this particular invoice as a self-built invoice. Then, in a fraction of a second, LHDM will return a validated e-invoice back to our system. Inside this uh, self built e-invoice, it will be mentioned the same details as the normal e-invoice, which including the e-invoice number, the unique UUID code, and then the most important thing is the top right hand corner that is an QR code. So you can scan it to retrieve your validated e-invoice. So underneath the submitted e-invoice, you can find out the supplier name will change into Taobao and then the total amount will be following the currency code that we have just select which is CNY, Chinese Yuan and the total payable amount. So this is how we can record this uh, trading items transactions as our purchase into our SQL software. Next situation is about when you are recording this particular importation of goods as your company expenses. That's all for our video. If you are liking this video, please drop a like, share, and subscribe.